All right, I was at the store. I found a couple of items that I needed. <laughs> um, so uh, these caught my eye because they're super, super heavy. Okay, they're just super heavy. Um, so I, I looked at this one. I knew I knew what it was, um, or I had a good suspicion. I should say what it is. It was probably a circulator. I did a video once before. I'll try to remember to link it down below. But I did a video once before on circulators and isolators. And uh, they work on the principle that uh, there's kind of a, a roundabout in here and uh, things go in and they travel the roundabout. And so uh, things will always go in one particular direction. And, and so this can go to that one and that one can go to this one and this one can go to that one. But if you go backwards, the police arrest you and your RF gets lost. So. It, it, it has to do kind of with the right hand rule of electricity and stuff and there's ferroelectric, ferroelectric yeah there's materials in there that uh, will create a kind of a eddy currents and it, they don't, so everything wants to go in one direction Let, go watch the other video I think I explained it better anyway so th things are going to go in one direction now um, uh, this one did have some labeling I've added a, additional labeling but it had a J1 J2 and J3 or something like that. J1, J2, J, I forget. Anyway. anyway, this is the input, the output, and the load. And uh, generally the way that circulators are used that you load one side. Okay, you put a 50 ohm load here and then you create an isolator. So a circulator with a load on it is an isolator. A lot of times they're just built in. Uh, a lot of times you can see them. So like this is a little, a little isolator. Um, this one's good around 2.2 gigahertz. Uh, there's an input and an output, and then there's this little button on the other side. Well, that's the 50 ohm load. So again, it has this little roundabout inside and uh, it has the load built in. This one does not have the load built in or somebody removed it. Um, it may probably had one, maybe, uh, I mean, you can use circulators for other things, but we're going to add a load to this one. And we're going to turn our circulator into an isolator. Okay. So what is an isolator? As I said before, um, things only want to go one direction, but if you think of it now as just a two port device, you have an input and an output. So RF will go that way, but RF will not go through that way. It's a, it's a one way valve. You can go that way, but you try to go that way. You don't go. It just stops. Okay. Um, and so this, uh, is now an isolator. There was this thing here, uh, which said R Blanc. Um, and I don't know what that means. Uh, but on this side, it did tell me what was going on. It says it's an isolator. Now, the shape of this is not like any isolator I've ever seen before. It's kind of this rectangle. Almost all isolators are square, okay? Like this, or round. I, I did a video, I had a bunch of isolators. I built a PC board. I, I'll try to remember to link these things below. So, um, this is an isolator input output. So things will go in this direction, but they will not go in that direction. In addition to that, it says it's a peripheral mode isolator, trademarked, uh, US patent number, blah de blah, HP part number. All right, so interesting. Um, so uh, I don't know what peripheral mode isolator means, but I can look up patent numbers. So uh, here is the patent, uh, and it is a gyromagnetic device having a plurality of outwardly narrowing tapering members. So that's what these, the, that's what these little things are. Uh, so like I said before, it kind of goes in one direction. So you can go, you can go from here to here and here to here, but you can't go the opposite way. Um, and they talk about certain materials and stuff. And they talk about, uh, all kinds of things. One of the interesting things they talk about is, uh, uh, mode suppressing slots on the uh, on the other thing. I tear one of these apart in, in, in that other video, so you can look inside of the one that I have, and they're just they're just like this. They're super simple. But supposedly this one is super broadband. Okay, generally uh, isolators are fairly narrow, and uh, this one supposedly is broadband. Like it's supposed to be like two times better than, than this one. That's what the, that's what the patent says. It's about two times better than what's already existing. So I say we measure these things. So these are high frequencies. So I'm going to use my, uh, six gigahertz nano VNA F the three 
All right, let's go ahead and do a um, uh, this little this 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 tiny little isolator here. And I'll show kind of show you what we should expect. Okay, input output. Let's get rid of this thing here. here. Oh my goodness, this thing is, this thing is on there tight now. I need another need another wrench. So, um, let's tighten these down. Gotta be official about it. Because it's high frequency, it's good to use the torque wrench. Um, all right. Let's see here. Let's, um, let's see. We're going from one gigahertz to six gigahertz. Display. Play trace one. We want to look at trace one, which is S21. So this is S21, okay? So this is the um, uh, forward direction, input to output. And if we put a marker, let's see here, do we have a marker? Back, back, marker, select marker one. All right, so we're going to set a marker here to, I claim this one is what, what did I write on here? Uh, 2.25, center should be right around 2.25. So let's, let's put that on here, 2.25, right there, okay? So uh, hopefully the camera is seeing this. But uh, yeah, so we have a marker right here at uh, 2.25. All right, so that's the forward direction and it is a zero dB, all right? So it's going straight through there. So then let's put it in the opposite direction now. What did I say? It'll go through one way, but it won't go through the other way. So now we should see a bunch of dB loss. It'll look like a, a big attenuator in the other direction, okay? And, uh, you know, if it's at least minus 20 dB, then we say that it's a pretty good, a pretty good device and so now my input's my output, my output's my input. We're going in the opposite direction. And let's hook this one up. All this SMA stuff takes a while to connect. All right. All right. And what do we see? Uh, we see this big dip. Hopefully you can see this on camera. I really can't tell through the viewfinder if you're seeing that well or not, but I think so. So there's a big dip there. So it's a dip at about minus 30 dB, okay? So it's got about a 30 dB drop in the reverse direction. So it's a very good isolator. Keeps things only going one direction, keeps things from going the other direction. All right, so. That is an isolator, and you can see that it's fairly narrow band, okay? Pretty, pretty narrow band. All right, so let's try this one, which I think is a pretty um, conventional circulator, all right? And so we will go, uh, uh, we need to put in an adapter because it has one male. So I will put this adapter on there and then we will have a female, female device. And that will help out everything. Let's go ahead and put that in there. Okay. So input to input. Output to output. Again, this will be the S21 measurement. All right, so what do we got here? Well, we have a really nice flat line out to about, 
at about uh, 2.15, yeah, about 2.15 gigahertz. We have this really, really flat line. So from DC out to 2.15, 2 uh, it is passing all of that energy. So that is nice. And let's put it in the reverse direction to make sure that it is an isolator and it's keeping things from going the other direction. Man, this thing's hard to deal with. And hopefully you can see that. We've got this nice big dip here. It's not flat, but it has a nice big dip. So from where we were, um, two gigahertz and down, it's at least 10 dB of attenuation. And this little area here, it's 20 dB of attenuation. So I would say, you know, it's acting really good here and okay everywhere, everywhere else. So somewhere around, uh, somewhere around uh, 1 1.925 to 1.5. So about 1.5 to 1.9 gigahertz. It's a really, really good, uh, really good isolator. Um, and then it's an okay isolator all the way from DC to two gigahertz, okay? All right, so let's try out our uh, patented uh, peripheral mode isolator. The patent talks about slots in the, um, in the um, metallic part of the isolator causing a reduction of harmonics. If there's any harmonics running around in there, it's uh, able to kill those things and give you better, kind of reduce the crosstalk um, kind of thing. Um, so anyway, that's supposedly the magic of the patent, uh, at least one of them. I didn't quite understand the whole patent. It had a lot of math that I had no idea what they were talking about. Um, all right, so in the forward direction, look at that. Whoosh, straight line. Whoa, all the way. Look at this from, from about three gigahertz to six gigahertz. This thing is just, just wonderful. It's in the forward direction. So very, very nice in the forward direction. Um, very, very uh, good, which means probably won't be great in the other direction. Uh, so we will see. S21 is in the forward direction, S12 is in the reverse direction for looking at S. We, we just looked at S21, this is S12. People usually get those backwards, they think S12 is the forward direction, it is not. S21 is the forward direction, this is the reverse direction. And wow, look at that, look at this thing. It is good from DC, or one, from one gigahertz to six gigahertz, it is an isolator. It is super, super broadband and really, really good. Nothing is above minus 20. And from about uh, two gigahertz to, uh, from two gigahertz to uh, four and a half gigahertz, it's just superstar. So yeah, go, uh, go peripheral, what is it, peripheral? Uh, Peripheral mode isolator, man, this thing is a super, superstar. All right, well, there you go. We've got this cool, uh, cool peripheral one, and then we've got this big ass uh, circulator here that's good for DC to 2.1. And it's not great everywhere, but it's good in a particular range. Uh, really, really big. These are hard to take apart, so I'm not going to. Um, but yeah, um, this one is good. Patent number uh, three, five, 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 four, five, nine. Uh, amazing stuff.